Welcome to our 80-foot mobile core scanning laboratory here at Geotech Limited. Today I'm going to be talking about the role of core digitization in the modern day environment and how we can extract information from legacy core samples. Legacy core samples, whether they're in national archives or commercial archives, have a role to play in the present day environment, particularly whether it's exploration or understanding of new geoscience areas like carbon capture storage or geothermal energy or even renewables. So much legacy core is acquired and here I'm going to show you how Geotech extract that information from the core samples. So we start with core samples here. The core samples can come in boxes, they could be whole, they could be split, they could be broken, they could be friable. All of them are valuable and all of them need information extracted. For those that are competent core samples, they can be taken out of the box and placed onto core trays and then scanned on the MSCLS, where a range of different petrophysical geochemical properties can be acquired on the core samples. That can include density, sonic, XRF for geochemistry, magnetic susceptibility, electrical resistivity, and total and spectral natural gamma. All important parameters, for example, in comparison between wireline logs or downhole logs. Once those parameters are collected, their core samples are taken off the MSCLS. And here we can use a range of manual handling techniques to reduce the, the need to lift those heavy core samples. And we can use these techniques to place the core into X-ray CT machines. The Geotech X-ray CT machines in this particular case using a 180 kV source are closed cabinet-based systems that can be placed into container systems like this and taken out into the field. We can acquire a range of different resolutions from 150 microns, 300 microns, or for plug core samples, 30 microns to get this high, medium, or low resolution data depending on the client's application. Coming from the X-ray CT, we then place the core back into their boxes. And important to note at this point, is that not all core is suitable for all types of analyses. Some core can be broken, some core can be friable, and in which case we need flexible workflows and routines to skip particular instruments that are not suitable for that particular core. Importantly, the other aspect of which Geotech take is to do two different levels of scanning, exploratory level or detailed level. Exploratory level scanning is all about exploration of that core. It's about a fit-for-purpose resolution with a fit-for-purpose data volume at the other end to scan as much core as possible the quickest time to get an overall picture. But detailed level scanning is all about meeting and matching those research expectations. It might be, for example, understanding thin bed analysis. It might be understanding an important of a mineralization zone. And all of the equipment I've shown you so far can be adapted to these different levels of scanning to meet these different scientific objectives. Now, the last two instruments I've been looking at have been petrophysics and they've been X-ray CT. The final part of Geotech's core digitization program is all about imaging. Now, we image the core in a variety of different lights. We have visible light for wet and dry core photography for collecting a digital record of what the core looks like right now. This can be acquired at quite high resolution, all the way up to 400 pixels per centimeter or a more fit for purpose resolution of 100 pixels per centimeter, for example. We can also acquire ultraviolet light for oil fluorescence or even some mineral fluorescence as well. And the same platform, it can also be used to acquire hyperspectral information. And that's what this system here is doing. This is our hyperspectral core imaging system that can acquire VNIR and SWIR hyperspectral images, as well as the visible and UV light images I previously discussed. Importantly also, this can be used to acquire laser core scan images for a three-dimensional map of what that core looks like for accurate core curation and also for geotechnical parameter extraction. So far, I've guided you through a process of acquiring a range of different parameters through those core samples from petrophysics, geochemistry, X-ray CT, all the way to mineralogy from hyperspectral, visible and UV photography. All of that data needs processing. So inside these mobile laboratories, we also have our own processing stations where we can process all of that data and deliver the data in non-proprietary formats to our customers when the time is right. Importantly also, we're all about explaining to customers what their data is looking at. So we carry our own visualization suites on the walls here to explain and show customers what our data looks like and as we're acquiring. So customers can see a near real-time example of data being collected. The Geotech approach to core scanning and core digitization is all about taking equipment, adapting it with all the different sensors that we offer in modular ways and taking it to the repository. Lots of times people think about taking core to a laboratory. Here at Geotech, we're all about taking the laboratory to the repository. 